Hi, I'm Wolfie Kohaku, and you're watching Cardfight Kohaku. This video is brought to you by Chaos Cards. Get all your trading card games, board games, miniatures, and many other things from them. Link will be in the description below. Now, let's get into it. This is a deck profile from my Murakumo deck. It's very basic. I don't have many of the G-Stride units for the deck, uh, so I'm using Cray Elementals to supplement it. It's based around uh, Shadow Stitch and Rear Guard Manipulation. But enough talking about it, let's get into it so you can see it. We start off with the Forerunner Stealth Demon of Crow Feathers Fugan. We then have four heal triggers, one Stealth Fiend Yukihime, and three Stealth Rogue Hinoe Kamachi. Hinoe Kamachi. I think that's how you say her name. Let's just fade out to the light. There we go. Yep, that's better. Then uh, we go into critical triggers. We have four copies of Stealth Beast Cat Devil, which is quite nice. Uh, we then have three copies of Dirk Stealth Rogue Yaiba. We have two stand triggers. We have one Dark Knight Stealth Rogue Clog. And one Stealth Beast Drench Serpent. That also has Shadow Stitch. And then to finish it off, we have three draw triggers. Two Stealth Beast Foxfire. And one Stealth Beast Cat Rogue. Or is that Cat Rouge? Hmm. Cat Rogue, Cat Rouge. Not sure. Anyway, that's the uh, grade zero trigger base and four runners done with. Let's go on to grade ones. We have four copies of Stealth Beast Drawn Shifter. Just move that so you can see it better. We have two copies of Stealth Dragon Mangy Shooter. Two copies of Stealth Beast Deathly Dagger. A copy of Stealth Dragon Onibayashi. One Bangasa Stealth Rogue Sukarok, I believe. A Quintet Wall uh, for the Sentinels. We have a Quintet Wall Silver Snow Sasame. And to fill up spaces till I can get Murakuma ones, which will be in an updated depth profile when I get them, three Light Elemental Sunny. That's the grade ones. For grade twos, we have one Stealth Beast Spellhound, two Stealth Beast Chain Geek, uh, four copies of Stealth Fiend uh, Awakahime, and four copies of Stealth Dragon Dual Weapon. Uh, both Dual Weapon and Awakihime are users of the Shadow Stitch ability, which makes them very useful. And that's the Grade 2s. Then we go to Grade 3 for the main deck. We finish with uh, four copies of Ink Dyed Stealth Rogue Minesuke, who pretty much is the main card of the deck for Grade 3s. You finish off a lot of games by utilising her Shadow Stitch ability and just powering up unit after unit after unit. Then we'll go one Covert Demonic Dragon Magatsu Typhoon. I, I wish I had the uh, Covert Demonic Dragon Magatsu Storm to go with it. But unfortunately I don't. We have Truth Seeking Stealth Rogue Amakusa. Stealth Fiend Nudo Cloud and Sword Hunter Stealth Rogue Oniwaka. 
I'm going to try and get some more of the um, Murakumo cards from uh, what is it now? The Genius Strategy, which is the map that you see here, and possibly improve the deck more uh, as time goes by. Which, when I do improve the deck and when I update it, I will release an updated video. And then we go on to the G deck. We have some basic uh, Murakumo stuff from the Technical Booster Genius Strategy. We have a Ambush Demon Stealth Rogue, Shishi Yuzuki, I believe she is pronounced. And then we have two copies of Ambush Demon Stealth Rogue, Kiyohime. And that's, that's it for the actual Murakumo ones. Then we go into Cray Elemental Territory. We have a Rain Element Madu, two Air Element Seabreeze, one Snow Element Blizzard, and a Miracle Element Atmos. And then to top it all off, we just finish off with two Metal Elements Scryu, which are useful so you can use your abilities to ditch cards from hand and then boost stuff. And that's my Murakumo deck. Thank you for watching, uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you have, please uh, support us by clicking on an advertisement. Uh, everything that you click on takes no money out of your pockets and helps the channel greatly. And yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, I've been Wolfie Kohaku, have a nice day.